And before we settle down for all that festive entertainment lined up for the rest of the day, we've a round-up of the news now on BBC One, brought to us by Moira Stewart. Iranian gunboats attack another merchant ship in the Gulf. HMS Scylla helps rescue her crew of 20. Good evening. A Korean registered freighter carrying timber is blazing furiously and steaming out of control in the Gulf. The Hyundai 7 was hit by Iranian gunboats north of Sharjah on its way to Dubai. The crew of about 20, some of them injured, were rescued by British and American helicopters and taken on board HMS Scylla. It was in the same area that a Liberian registered tanker, Eastern Power, was attacked yesterday. The Iranian attackers used fast small boats to fire at merchant ships and speed away, and yesterday fired at British and American naval helicopters. The Scylla, which is with the Armilla patrol in the Gulf, offered protection to the Eastern Power, the first foreign registered vessel to be given such help. The plight of hostages being held in Lebanon has been remembered by the Archbishop of Canterbury. In his Christmas sermon, Dr. Runcie also recalled the year's tragic events nearer home. To mark the end of what's been called the Year of Disasters, the Archbishop urged his congregation not to forget those whose Christmas was overshadowed by sorrow. Families of those killed at Zebrugge, Hungerford, Enniskillen and King's Cross. Their first Christmas in the absence of someone dearly loved will have a particular sadness for them. We must not forget them now. And I cannot forget, nor I expect can you, Teddy Waite, John McCarthy and their fellow hostages. Dr. Runcie said he believed the hostages would sense the prayers of people in Britain were with them. The plight of Terry Waite and John McCarthy, plus Alec Collett, whose death was claimed last year by an Arab terrorist group, was also the subject of a televised appeal by Britain's ambassador in Beirut. For the families of the British hostages still held in the Lebanon, it is a time of uncertainty, of anguish, and an empty place at the Christmas celebration. More Palestinians have been arrested by the Israeli army in the occupied territories. The continued protests meant that relatively few pilgrims went to Bethlehem for the traditional Christmas celebrations. Some apparently were afraid of trouble, others were deterred by heavy rain. Mass was celebrated as usual, but security was heavy there and in other parts of the West Bank. Cars were checked and metal detectors used. Hundreds of Palestinians have been arrested in the past two weeks of disturbances. In his Christmas message in Rome, Erbi et Orbi, to the city and the world, Pope John Paul warned that mankind should not believe it was self-sufficient. The truth of Christmas, he said, was that all people were the children of God. For the tenth Christmas of his pontificate, he sent out Christmas greetings in 51 languages, including English. Inglese, happy Christmas. May the peace of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, be ever with you. The royal family attended matins at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, with Prince William in high spirits, but later he found concentrating on the service hard work, and his mind wandered from the carol being sung. His mother, the Princess of Wales, who'd caught the eye of the fashion conscious with her three-quarter length yellow coat and matching hat, gave him a consoling pat on the head. In her Christmas message, the Queen said that a Christian example of forgiveness had been given to everyone by Gordon Wilson, whose daughter Marie was killed at Enniskillen on Remembrance Sunday. The Queen said that loyalty was sometimes corroded into bigotry and violence. From time to time, we also see some inspiring examples of tolerance. Mr. Gordon Wilson, whose daughter Marie lost her life in the horrifying explosion at Enniskillen, on Remembrance Sunday, impressed the whole world by the depth of his forgiveness. His strength and that of his wife and the courage of their daughter came from their Christian conviction. <laughs> <laughs> 